And I want to share with you a testimony of somebody who received this book and it blessed her so much. And as I read her testimony, you're going to be able to, to, to see how blessed she was. Let me read it to you. She said to me, these words, I was on a trip to Jerusalem. While I was there, my sister died and no one told me until I returned home. For six months, I did not go to church. I did not read the Bible and I could not pray. Imagine the state of this dear sister. Nobody told her that her sister had died. She was in Jerusalem. She came home. Then they told her. She said, I went from the bed to the dining table, back to the bed. Then one day, now you can see how depressed she was, how down, how desperate she needed a touch from Jesus. She needed God to speak to her, to do something in her heart. She said, then one day, my son-in-law gave me a copy of Take Five Prayer Power. Her son-in-law is a pastor. She received this book. He gave to her this book. In no time, I was back to praying and reading the Bible and back to church. I give God all the praises. I use this prayer book every day. Her name is Norma Pinnock. There are other testimonies such as this one, how this little book has blessed so many people. God knows that we are busy people. He knows that it's difficult when you are taking care of children and, and doing so much in your day. You have to work. You have to come home. And, and for you dear ladies and some men as well, cook and, and, and take care of your children and, and other things in life. But God is saying to you today, if you would just take five minutes, just take five minutes and pray. You can pray a prayer such as this one. A lunchtime prayer. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me, for delivering me, for giving me favor and surrounding me like a shield. According to Psalm chapter 5, verse 12, it says this, For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will surround him as with a shield. Psalm 3, 8 says this, Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. In Psalm 21, verse 3, For you meet him with the blessings of goodness. You set a crown of pure gold upon his head. Manifest your blessing in my life today, your provision, protection, and answers to my prayers. According to Isaiah 65, 24, it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. And Jeremiah 33, 3 says, call to me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things which you do not no. And Isaiah 54, verse 13 and 14, look what it says. All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. In righteousness you shall be established. You shall be far from oppression, for you shall not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near you. Bless me and make me a blessing, according to Genesis chapter 12, verse 2 and 3. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. Help me to win souls for you, according to Proverbs 11, verse 30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. In Mark 16, verse 15, it says, And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. These are the kinds of prayers in this little book, Take Five Prayer Power. And I encourage you to get a copy. If you go to our website, davidramaya.com, and you, you search it, you'll find this book there, and you can order it from there. I encourage you to do so. It will bless you. You'll be able to, when you are at the grocery store, waiting perhaps in your car for your wife, or, or when you are at, uh, waiting for your children at school, or at lunchtime, you have a moment, you can just open the book and pray a prayer, or you can make a declaration like this one. 
My tongue is set on fire by the Holy Spirit. It is set among my members and permeates my entire body and soul with righteousness, holy living, and the love of God. It sets the course of my life with fire of the Holy Spirit, the miracle working power of God, the healing virtues of Jesus Christ, and the ever abiding presence of God our Father. It is filled with the words of God, which are sharper than any double-edged sword, Hebrews 4.12. And those words anointed by God upon my tongue go forth to produce and give me life in abundance on this earth. That everywhere I go, I prosper and have great success. The enemy does not and cannot outwit me. The Lord my God causes me to always have victory and to triumph. He makes my feet to be stable and strong and to walk permanently on the straight and narrow. He arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. I will ever declare that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm seated at His right hand in Jesus Christ, who continuously intercedes for me. I never lose. I win always. I'm a king, a priest, and an ambassador of Christ. Jesus Christ, my Lord, overcame the world, and I do too. Since He is for me, who can come against me? Romans 8, 31. He fights my battles. The blood of Jesus Christ covers me and has power over me. I pray that God bless you today, that He gives you a marvelous day, a peaceful day, a happy day. God bless you. I encourage you again, get a copy of this book, Take Five Prayer Power, on our website, davidramaya.com. And there are many teachings on there, uh, videos and other books you can order as well. God bless you. Until next time, remember, he will never leave you nor forsake you. God bless you.